and let's talk about Real Madrid first because that was so disappointing from them. They come up against Celta this weekend. They're away from home at Balaidos. They have got to get a result, haven't they? Yeah, and they've got to rebuild their confidence. They were too bad to be true, frankly, against Barcelona that day. I mean, it was a pitiful, pathetic performance. They were ripped limb from limb by Barcelona on the day. It was humiliating, embarrassing. But, um, yeah, they've had a couple of weeks to think about it and work on the training ground. Uh, Carlo Ancelotti won't be there. He's uh, tested positive for COVID, so his son will be in charge of the team. And the good news for Real Madrid is they've got Benzema back, how they missed him in that game, and Ferlon Mendy, the left back as well. So you'd fancy Real Madrid to get back on track, I think, in that one. Uh, yeah, perhaps for once, an international break after a result right that did them a favour. Barcelona taking on Sevilla, the side that they're chasing down for second spot. They've played a game less than them. They're just three points behind them. This looks as though if the form that we've seen from Barca right now and the form that we've seen from Sevilla before the break, that second spot is there for the taking. Yeah, I think they can overtake them with a win in this fixture. It's, it's weird, isn't it? Strange the way how quickly Barcelona have rebuilt. And you saw really the confidence coursing through their veins in that performance at the Bernabeu. So they're at home here to a Sevilla side. They've been pretty badly hit by injuries and have drawn a lot of games. And they had that morale-sapping experience going out of their favoured competition, the Europa League at West Ham United. So... Although they're going to be tough to break down, they always are. They're always likely to get a draw. But I think Barcelona, they're really on a roll, aren't they, at the moment? And I think with that incentive of moving into second place in the table, uh, they're going to win this game. Yeah, it is starting to very much look as though that table come the end of the season will be first and second Real Madrid and Barcelona. Just taking a look at the remaining schedules for both of the sides starting with these games at the weekend. Yes, it's a double-digit lead and a game more that Real Madrid have played. I know in Spain they say, ay Liga, if the league title's still on. Is there absolutely any chance you see Real Madrid throwing this away? I don't think so. Not really, no. I mean, you look at it and you see that game, they've got to play a, a Madrid derby, haven't they, before the end of the season. I mean, it could be the way Barcelona are going that they could take maximum points and they'll just sit there the hope that somehow Real Madrid do throw it all away. But it looks impossible for that to happen. I don't see Real throwing it away. But, you know, stranger things have happened. Maybe not too many, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've definitely sent out a message for next season, if anything else. And we look forward to watching all the game play out uh, here this season and, of course, next season on ESPN+. Plus. This is the upcoming La Liga schedule that we do have for you. The big one this weekend, though, is... Barcelona taking on Sevilla. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and for live streaming, premium content, and of course, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.